Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. It's been quite some time since I actually sat down and filmed a video, so it feels good to be doing this. I hope you all had an amazing holiday season. I definitely did. Um, you know, I kind of just took a little bit of a, I guess you could say a hiatus from, you know, YouTube and recording and things like that to just enjoy the holiday season because it is my favorite time of year and it always just flies by and you know I'm on break from school right now for like another week and everything so I really just wanted to take time you know see my friends spend time with family just enjoy the holidays with my nieces and nephew and just you know just enjoy the time and not feel like I had to put a certain amount of time aside for social media or anything like that I do this because I enjoy it. I love home fragrance and I want to connect with other people who love it, but I don't want recording and this to feel like it's something I have to do. So this year, that's something I'm definitely going to be mindful of, um, especially because, you know, I am being more mindful with what I'm buying because my collection has just gotten out of control. But I'll always, you know, it's inevitable. I'll always have something coming in to some degree because I just love home fragrance so much. Um, it's like, I guess you could consider it a hobby. It's my hobby. It's my passion. I just love it. But anyway, I have a party closeout here to share with you. It actually is my first party closeout. And this party I started once I became a consultant. So, um, I was told and figured out that in January, if you closed a party, that your half off rewards doubled. So I was actually going to close it in like right before or around Christmas time. And then Chris from Dazzling Scents with Chris, she's my sponsor. She told me that, you know, if you hold off till January, I'm pretty sure the half off rewards would double. So that's what I did. So thank you so much, Chris. So I'll share everything here that I got with you. A majority of it is wax just simply because I don't need any more warmers at the moment and with bring back my bar going on I just wanted to be able to stock up on some scents with my credit instead of actually having to go purchase them um full so I did get a couple of bundles half off and then some I bought with my host credit and then I got some other things so we'll just jump right in without you know too much more rambling so with my perpetual host reward, which essentially is another half off item, I did go ahead and get cotton cleanups. Um, I would never pay full price for these as many of you wouldn't, but I had, I think I, it ended up coming to like six or seven, it must have been six, half off rewards. And I was like, if I'm not going to get a warmer, like what am I possibly going to get? Now with the perpetual, it ended up seven. So I was like, let me just get these because, um, you know, I end up using so many cotton balls paper towels all that stuff I was like if I could just get a bag of these for half price which made them about five dollars you know to me it's worth it I didn't really have many other things on my list that I wanted so I was like let me just get these I think these are always good to have on hand um, just makes cleaning up the wax so much easier especially scoopables um, with vendor wax scoopable wax is a softer formula and sometimes it's just harder to clean out of the dishes um, so this makes it easier with scoopables in general, but it's it's great with, they are great with all wax, I should say. So got a thing of cotton cleanups. I also got, oh, I'm so excited for this. I got a laundry love bundle. I love our laundry products. I just love the scents that they come in. The sizes are fabulous. I mean, it's only me and my fiance in our household. Um, so we don't have an incredible amount of laundry, but these, so these products do last a good amount of time. So I got it, the Laundry Love Bundle in Fluffy Fleece, which I actually have never smelled before. Um, but I've heard how great it is in the laundry and then the notes just kind of stuck, like spoke to me. So I was like, let me just try it. Um, so yeah, I got the washer whiffs, the laundry liquid, which is our detergent, and there is a pump, but I actually took the plastic off so I could smell the scent. So I have the pump over here somewhere. So we get these two. And then um, you also get two dryer discs. So essentially dryer discs are to just add a boost of fragrance with, um, you know, your products that you put in the dryer. So I'm really excited to try this. Honestly, these laundry liquid containers can last a bit of time especially because depending on the size of your load typically I'll do like two to three pumps bedding I'll probably do like three 
three, three to four. Um, there are instructions on the back, depending on the size of your laundry load, how much you should use. But yeah, I had a bundle and it just was the large washer whiffs and the laundry liquid in palm trees and ocean breeze. And that lasted me probably like two months. Um, or a month and a half so they definitely last a good amount of time so if you're able to get these you know with host rewards or half off it's definitely worth it or even just on its own what it's full price it's $50 and if you have a size household like I do and you don't have an incredible amount of laundry it's definitely a good investment you're getting the same fragrance in all the items so it definitely is a nice thing to have on hand or even to gift if someone's having a housewarming or something like that so that is the Laundry Love Bundle. Put that over here. Um, the next thing I got were some scent circles. I'm not a huge fan of the scent circles personally. I just feel like the scent doesn't linger that long um, in the car per se. But I do like to put these like in a sock drawer or, you know, our linen closet or, you know, the closet that we put all, like our vacuum and dust, dusting stuff, all of our cleaning material. I just kind of like to have one of these in there to spruce, like just kind of freshen it up, put one on the bottom of the garbage can. Um, so I got four scent circles here. I got two in very snowy spruce because I am obsessed with this fragrance, you guys. I actually might try one of these in the car because um, Scentsy's tree fragrances seem to do pretty well in the scent circles. So I am probably going to use one of these for my car and probably give the other one to for my fiance to use. And then I got two in winterberry apple tea because I also really like this fragrance. It's a really nice kind of spiced apple tea fragrance with a little bit of berry. It's beautiful. So I think this is one I'll put like in our closets or like sock drawer or something like that. But being that I, I had like... I don't know, like a couple of dollars left in host rewards and um, I didn't want them to go to waste. I was like, what else am I going to get? So I got like this bundle. I think it was like a bundle of four of them. So they're always nice to have too. You know, it's good to throw into a gift, a card, whatever. <clears throat> and then I know I said I didn't need any more warmer. So I told myself if I'm going to get a warmer at all, it's not going to be a full size warmer. Um, I know there's probably going to be plenty coming out with a new catalog coming in a few months that I'll want to get, you know, sense of the month, things like that. So nothing absolutely jumped out at me. Um, but I know that I did want a new mini warmer for my bathroom. Right now I have Tux the Baby Penguin, which came in the November Whiff Box. He is so adorable. I'm literally going to leave him in my bathroom till probably like the end of February. Just keep him in there all winter because he's so cute. Um... So I went ahead and got a mini warmer that I can go ahead and replace him with once I decide to, you know, it's time to put him away for the season. So I got the Ocean Life mini warmer. So <clears throat> honestly, I know I'm not the only one who feels this way. Our mini warmers are stunning, but I get the best or performance at all with wax from our ceramic warmers. Our glass warmers are stunning. They are pure works of art, just like our full size warmers. But for some reason, like the glass or the ones that feel like kind of, they don't necessarily feel like glass. They kind of feel plasticky, in my opinion. Um, I don't really get great performance from. Number one, they take a really long time to warm, like to melt the wax. Even if I do half of a cube, if I change the bulb out, I just, I don't know. It's not like placement. They're not by a draft or anything. I've tried them in multiple locations just to see. But it just, I don't know, I've just personally found that the ceramic mini warmers get the best heat source and perform best. So unless there's like a mini warmer that I'm dying to have, which probably won't happen because of what I just said, I'm going to stick to getting the ceramic mini warmers. Um, and that's just my honest opinion. It's not a knock towards Sensi at all. It's just what I have found works for me and what I expect out of my products that I spend my money on. So... Yes, I am a consultant. I am here to share my honest opinion, though, and that's just what has worked for me. So I'm going to just show you quickly what this looks like. I'm not going to plug it in and have it lit up. I'm sure there are plenty of you who have seen this warmer before, um, but I will just show you what it looks like in on the base. <clears throat> so this is it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's actually a little bit bigger than I thought it would be height-wise, um, it, it's a decent size. This is beautiful, beautiful nautical, you know, it's just 
a classic beautiful summery beachy design um I know so many people my mom my grandma I have an aunt or two that love like aquatic ocean themed things like this is just a beautiful warmer and it goes with so much decor um I just love it so after I change my decor out especially in the bathroom from wintry seasonal stuff I'm gonna just make it like navy blue and gray so this will look so beautiful in there it is just a smooth um ceramic finish it's not necessarily glazed but it's just beautiful and then you do have the holes here along the side that'll allow light to come through so it will provide as like a night light source as well I just love it I think it's beautiful I think this is a beautiful one to gift as well it's just it's really nice the artwork is so detailed on here I just am so happy with this so I think I might actually get one for my mom because she loves all beach type things so I'll probably do like a cute little bundle for her for Mother's Day and get her like this and a little bit of wax and stuff I'm still debating on what I want to do just because my mom does live out of state so I have to kind of plan ahead and send things early even though it's months away just when I saw this I was like she actually would really like that so yeah that is the ocean life mini warmer I am feeling a little bit rambly you guys and it's probably because I haven't sat in front of the camera in a while so I apologize <laughs> but we're just gonna roll with it the next thing I have here to show you is the wax so I did stock up on like I said the bring back my bars and there were a couple of things that I knew I wanted to get that I waited till I was placing this party closeout order to get. So <clears throat> the first thing I have here, and I'm so excited to have this. I, like I said, with the scent circle, I've been obsessed with this fragrance. This is a brick in very snowy spruce. So this is just a beautiful, strong, cozy tree scent. I'm not exactly sure of the notes, but it's definitely like a crisp green tree. You definitely get the Christmas, like the Christmas, you get the crispness of a tree and it almost gives you a slight minty or eucalyptus vibe, but it's just a gorgeous Christmas tree type fragrance. I love this. Um, I personally would melt this all throughout, even until like late spring, just because I love tree and outdoorsy scents. And I think this is a great scent to blend with things you could do this with vanilla bean buttercream or any type of cake scent uh, a frosting scent you could do it with strawberry I personally love my tree fragrances mixed with strawberry so I would mix this with any like strawberry type scent even strawberry sweetie from the bing back my bar um, cinnamon pine cone cinnamon bear um, homestead holiday like there are just so many like fruity tree type fragrances that I feel like you could even blend with this that I just think this will be a great mixer. Um, so I'm excited. I definitely warm this on its own, but I'm happy to have a brick of this that could kind of come up with mixes as well. I just love this fragrance so much. It actually did come cracked. I haven't taken this out, which I don't care um, because of the size of the brick cubes I usually chop up anyway. So yeah, this is massive. This will definitely last me a good amount of time, but I just love this fragrance. I know this is one that tends to come back year after year with the fall and winter catalog, but I don't trust Scentsy. So this is one that'll actually go into my club at the end of the season, just because I will be devastated if they don't bring very snowy spruce back come next fall and winter season. So I know this is a loved fragrance by many. I love this and I am just so happy to have this. I might chop into this bad boy today. Actually, it's snowing here. It's freezing and I can just my house will smell heavenly with this going so that's that <clears throat> before we get into the bring back my bars i did pick up one um that isn't included in the bring back my bar and that is the scent of the month for january which is candy orchard um and candy orchard is a clown of sponge sugar it mixes with raspberry and warm vanilla in a candy coated fantasy so I've watched a few people's hauls with this scent in the warmer and things like that. They describe it as like a cotton candy, sugary cotton candy, fruity fragrance. I totally agree. To be honest, it's kind of, yeah, it's like cotton candy, but then it's like kind of like 
like raspberry, like a candied raspberry type fragrance. And then I get like a cotton candy vibe with the sponge sugar. It's beautiful. I'm not a huge fruity fragrance fan. Um, if you've watched me for any bit of time, you probably know that many of the things I have in my empties and that I haul, majority of it is <clears throat> more cozy, outdoorsy, earthy, masculine, bakery, stuff like that. Um, dark, smoky, those types of blends. Um, I don't really do a lot of fruity unless it's mixed with like tree or unless it's mixed with bakery pretty well, just because a lot of it is too sweet and comes off sour to me. I do get a hint of the sourness here. Like it's almost like the more I smell it, it's reminding me of a pink starburst. Yeah. Yep. It's like pink starburst and cotton candy. So I like that just because with the sugariness of the cotton candy, it kind of takes it away from being too sour. But I'm excited to warm this. I think I only got one because I wasn't sure how I would feel about it being that I'm not a big fruity fan, but I'm excited to warm this one. And then the rest are scents from, I'm pretty sure the rest are all scents from Bring Back My Bar that I kind of wanted to stock up on a little bit. So <clears throat> I planned on doing a whole dedicated video to just my warm reviews of the Bring Back My Bar. And I wanted to even do that like a couple of days after Christmas, but then I got sick and then I just kind of decided I was just going to take a little bit of a break from recording. So I never got around to it. Um, I may still do it. I don't know if anyone would even be interested at this point because Bring Back My Bar is now going on for about a week or so. Um, but I'll think about it. Um, if not, you'll see them in my upcoming empties. But honestly, you guys, this has been a great round of Bring Back My Bar for me. Most of them I am enjoying. Um, and this is the first Bring Back My Bar where I'm a consultant. So it was the first time I was able to purchase the whole kit. And I'm so glad that I did because a lot of these fragrances, I don't know if I would have went out and necessarily picked up on my own. Um, but buying the bundle, it allows you to get a feel for so many different fragrances that you might not even think you would like. So I am so happy that I did this. Yes, it is a little bit costly, but to me, it's been a fun experience. And many of them I, excuse me, many of them I do enjoy. So to me, it's been well worth it. This one has been very hit or miss, especially in my little <laughs> wax chat group that we have going on. Um, and this is everything nice. I really like this one. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I'm one of the few in my group of friends that actually like this scent. I think it's delicious. Um, everything nice is sugar and spice and everything nice. Deep caramel and swirls of butter with roasted pumpkins and glazed pecans. So yes, this is primarily a fall fragrance, but I just love the, I love the color of this wax too. It's, um, it's pretty, it's like a burnt orange, but um, I just love the butteriness, like the rich butteriness that this has. You do get like a sweet, creamy pumpkin, but mainly I'm getting pecan and butter. And let me tell you, this performs amazing. This was strong. I did one bar split up between my kitchen and living room kind of open concept area. This thing was a beast. Like it was delicious. It was just warm, cozy, buttery, gooey pumpkin. You got the little bit of nunniness from the pecans. You get a little bit of sweetness with the caramel. I just think this was so good. So this is one that I picked up two of. Um, honestly, I would melt this throughout the winter with another bakery, maybe like a buttercream or something else. Um, I would melt this throughout the winter. And then I do plan on putting this in my club, which I don't know many people who are, but I like it. I know myself and Stephanie from Steph Loves Life um, also really likes this. So, you know... I'm with it. If you are team everything nice, let me know because I know we are few and far between, but I don't care, man. I think it's good. <laughs> I'm grateful that I like it <laughs> because some people's descriptions of the scent have been like very <laughs> gross and I'm so glad I don't get that. Um, another one that I'm not too sure many people like, but I like it is Falling Leaves. So Falling Leaves is an earthy blend of cinnamon, clove, and patchouli. So again, I'm someone who likes those dark, you know, earthy scents. And I, in particular, I really enjoy patchouli. 
So I love this. This is quintessential. You're walking into a craft store in the fall time or a little mom and pop country store where they sell like home decor and they have potpourri smell. They have the cinnamon broom. It's just beautiful. And then the patchouli gives it a little bit of like earthy depth. But this is such a nice, cozy, warm, spiced fragrance. I like this. I actually think this would be pretty with, um, you know, if you do alternating warmers with very snowy spruce, I might try that. So it's a nice, like, spicy tree type scent. Yeah, I think that'll be pretty. Yeah, so that is Falling Leaves. Again, this is another one that was pretty strong. This was more of a medium to strong. I think, actually, that everything nice is a little bit stronger than this one, in my opinion. But yeah, I'm debating clubbing this. I don't know, because I... I feel like these types of scents come out every year around the fall time, but I like that this one has the added patchouli. So I'm not sure. Oh, I like this. I'm not sure I'm going to club it. If anything, I might go back before the end of the month and just get like another handful of these to have on hand. But yeah, that is Falling Leaves. All right. There are some that I have multiples of, but this is like, this box is not very organized. So we're just going to grab and go. Um, this is another one that not many people like. I'm surprised I like this as much as I do. To be honest with you, this is one of my favorites of the whole bunch of Bring Back My Bar. And I'm shocked because I am not a floral fan. And this is Twilight. This is one of Dan Orchard's picks. And this is a lovely, rich, sophisticated scent infused with soft, romantic florals and ocean air. So I wasn't sure what to expect of this one. My first sniff impression, I really liked it. And on warm, you guys, this was so pretty. I did two cubes in my bedroom. She was a beast. She went for close to three days. And I mainly get salty sea air. Like the ocean air, salty sea air is mainly what I get from this. So to me, in my nose, in the way it melted in my house, this was like 75 to 80% salty sea air and 20 to 25% floral. So it's not mainly floral to me. I get like a beautiful fresh air with salty sea air, like an ocean sea breeze. And then you get the undertone of the floral. The floral in here, it is detectable. Um... It is a little bit powdery, but to me, it's totally overtaken and it blends so beautifully with the salty sea air. This just smells like a clean, crisp, oh. Salty sea air is one of my favorite notes in wax. I just find it to be so relaxing and peaceful. Um, it gives a clean vibe. It just makes me happy. And I I love this. This was a total shock to me. I'm. This is another, like... I don't even know if I would have tried this if I didn't buy the bundle because of floral. I'm not typically a floral person, but because of this group of Bring Back My Bar, I'm finding the way that I do enjoy that Scentsy does florals. So I love Twilight. This is 100% going in my club. I got two bars and because she's a strong performer and I don't need many cubes in a space to scent that area, I'm not going to go through bars too quickly. So you know, I got two for now, which will hold me over for some time. And then I am going to put it in my club. So I, oh, this was one of like, probably the biggest surprise out of all the bring back my bar to me, this and the other one that I'll do next. Um, but that is Twilight. So if you are team Twilight, let me know this. I just am loving this. I don't even know who I am, you guys, because some of these scents I didn't even think I would like, and I'm really liking them. <clears throat> so the next one that was a huge surprise to me, and another one that's going in my club, is Peony Petals. When I first sniffed this in my first sniffs of the Bring Back My Bar, I said this smelled like a beautiful woman's body care floral, kind of like a body cream or lotion you would get from Lancome or Clinique. And yes, I still get that. But it's just so pretty and sweet. Like this is a sweet floral. Um, the description on peony petals is peony and rose petals dance on a soft breeze. It's just so nice. It does have a little bit of powderiness, which I'm assuming is from the rose. But mainly I get the sweet, the sweet peony. Like it's not, this isn't like floral that's going to stuff your nose up and it's way too much in my opinion it's not it's a beautiful sweet perfumey floral I love it 
it is like compared to other floral scents that I've had that kind of lean more juvenile because they have that candied floral aspect to it. This is not. This is more mature floral, not in the sense of where it's like a like a grandma scent as people call it. No. This is just it's not juvenile because it doesn't have that candied essence. It is sweet, but it's not like candy sweet. It's like body care, like lotion. Just beautiful. The peony in here is so well done. Um the the soft breeze just give it like a nice fresh sweet floral fragrance. I just I really like this. So this is one that's also going into my club because it's not common that I find florals that I like. So now that I've found two that I like, they'll stay in my club for a bit of time. I don't know how long, but I think that's going to be beautiful come spring and summer. It's just, I really like it. <clears throat> I did get some one-offs here of ones that I know that I like, but I kind of have to warm a little bit more to see what I really think of them. And one of those is cinnamon. So cinnamon is warm, earthy cinnamon and spices melted with a cool burst of peppermint. <clears throat> so I am a huge peppermint fan. I love melting peppermint at nighttime. I just think it's super relaxing and de like it's so good to de-stress to. And I have this season really come to like spices, which I don't remember appreciating as much in the past. But this kind of fall and winter season, I've really grown to like those kind of potpourri, cinnamon type scents. So I like this. This peppermint in here is straight up nose clearing peppermint. It's a beautiful, crisp, like fresh air peppermint vibe. And then you are getting the punch of cinnamon. So the cinnamon here is reading to me like a spicy cinnamon. But the crisp peppermint I just think they blend together nicely these are not two scents that I would think to put together but I do like it this was super strong I did um a couple of cubes when I tested it out and it went for like close almost three days before it started to die down but this is another one I like um I do have like half of my bar left that came in the kit and then I got this one and I don't really this isn't a clubber for me but I did enjoy it so I was like I would like another bar of it so that's cinnamon. <clears throat> Let's see. One that I absolutely loved and I feel like I got, yes, I oh know. I don't know. I feel like I have another one floating around here somewhere. This is toasted caramel sugar. I know this is a majority of people's favorites that have gotten and warmed the Bring Back My Bars already. So this is warm milk with caramelized sugar and toffee all swirled together with the scent of sweet silky vanilla musk. This is delicious. So on my first sniffs, I said that caramel sugar cone to me was like the burnt topping of a creme brulee. Totally changed and flip-flopped my opinions after I warmed them. This toasted caramel sugar reads like burnt sugar creme brulee to me on warm. This is beautiful. To be honest, this isn't the, wasn't the most long-lasting. Um, it was like a stable medium for me, but... It did die down after, <clears throat> you know, like five or six, seven hours. So it's not incredibly long lasting, but it is delicious. So I definitely wanted to stock up on this. This will be going in my club as well. So that is toasted caramel sugar. <clears throat> Next one I got two of is toasted apple butter. This is delicious. This is like you're cooking down apples to put into like an apple pie. And you have the spices, the apples are cooking down and getting juicy. It's just beautiful. This will be really nice too to mix with like a bakery, vanilla bean buttercream. It's just nice. This was eh, a lighter medium performer to me. It did last a little bit over a day, but it definitely died down after like the 12, 13 hour mark. But I just love like a spiced apple scent. So I know I wanted to pick up a couple more of these. I will warm another bar or two of this to decide for me personally if it's club worthy because I feel like although this is a delicious scent I do feel like you know baked apple pie is kind of similar similar vibe or you could get something like this from vendors so I'm not sure I do really like it I'm just trying to be mindful of what I'm putting into my club because I like so many of these and then we're going to have the catalog changing in about a month or so. So I just need to be mindful of what I'm putting into my club because I already have like 45 bars in there, which is crazy. But 
yeah, I'm trying to be a little bit more mindful. <clears throat> Next I have here, what is this? Oh, okay, we have another Falling Leaves. So I guess I got two of these. I got one Lavender Vanilla. So this is relaxing mix of Hillside Lavender, Vanilla Beans, Orange Zest, and Patchouli. You guys, I don't know, I get nothing else from this aside from lavender. <laughs> and maybe a little bit of vanilla bean, but this is herbal lavender and a little bit of vanilla bean to me. I'm not getting orange zest. I'm not picking up patchouli. And my nose is trained to pick up patchouli because I love it. I honestly don't get it in this fragrance. This was a powerhouse performer. Um, I just don't know if it's unique enough for me to club. So um, I'm going to test it out a little bit more and make up my mind. So that's why I picked up this bar. This was a powerhouse. I put two cubes in my walk-in closet area and it was like wafting out down the hallway, you know, by the bedrooms, the bathroom. Like this was a powerhouse. So that alone makes me feel like it's a good one to club because it's a reliable one. I just feel like it's not that unique. So we'll see about that. That's lavender vanilla. Um, I feel like I got two of this one. Yes, I did. This is crazy coconut. Two of those. So this is mixed coconut milk, mixed fruit and vanilla ice cream. This is so like pretty to me. I personally like the few coconut fragrances I've had from Scentsy. I had Kukui and Coconut. I had Mahalo Coconut. And now this one. I could see what people were saying about the little bit of waxiness. But I just think this is going to be so pretty for the summertime. On warmth, for me, the waxiness aspect goes away. And it was just like a nice, like, creamy coconut. You do get the little bit of fruit on warm. I just think this is going to be so pretty in the summer. It's going to be pretty to blend. So I enjoyed this one. It was a stable medium for me. It wasn't crazy long lasting, but I just, I like coconut fragrances. So I think this will be nice to enjoy during the summertime. And speaking of summertime and one that I am curious to combine with crazy coconut even in alternating warmers or one-to-one -one is bananas so this is a delicious tropical banana mixed with coconut milk and island vanilla reminiscent of a banana flavored taffy so this isn't anything that I'm like head over heels for this isn't something that I'm obsessing over but I do appreciate a good banana fragrance this to me is like a banana like a tropical drink you have a banana tropical drink. You have a little bit of coconut shavings on the rim. Like that's what I envision when I smell this. It is a little bit candied like, but to me, it's more creamy than it is candied. So yeah, I think just, it, this just gives me summertime vibes. I'm just excited to have this for the summertime. I think on a hot day, um, this will be nice to blend with crazy coconut. Here it is, crazy coconut or even on its own with something else. I just think it'll be a fun one to have for the summertime. I'm definitely not going to regret having these. I enjoy it, but it's not one that I feel like I need to load up on or club. So I may grab another one or two for the summertime to have on hand for this upcoming summer or the next. But it's not crazy unique to me where I need to club it. <clears throat> okay. I think I got three of this one. Yes, I did. I love caramel sugar cone. So I got three of these. So caramel sugar cone is guilt-free, gooey caramel, vanilla, sugar cone, and a touch of malt. I know I mentioned this in my um, first impressions, but this is one I voted like crazy for. It's just delicious. This to me is more of a sweetened gooey caramel where toasted caramel sugar is more of like a burnt sugar toasted caramel. Like I was saying, like the top of a creme brulee. This to me is like kind of like a vanilla waffle cone with a gooey caramel that you would have on like a caramel apple or an ice cream sundae. Oh, this is just so good. So good. You do get a little bit of malt, but mainly it's that vanilla waffle cone type fragrance and like a warm sticky gooey caramel that you would have on an ice cream sundae or in a caramel apple so I really like this 
I think again this will be a nice one to blend or just one if you just want like a nice sweet bakery going this is will be a good reliable so that is caramel sugar cone oh, I gotta speed it up here this one I wasn't sure what I was gonna think of it you guys and I was pleasantly surprised by this this is frosted ginger cookie so this is chewy brown sugar cookie spiked with warming ginger and fragrant vanilla so <clears throat> my first impression and after warm kind of agreed with one another I definitely get like a little bit of a citrus note with this it's almost like a lemon zest but I think it's just that like the crisp ginger that's doing that to my nose I really like this I don't have many gingered fragrances in my collection I have some gingerbread type fragrances but they're more like creamy um this is beautiful you get the brown sugar cookie you get the zestiness from the ginger like I said it almost is like a ginger with a lemon this was a powerhouse this was a strong performer long lasting this lasted probably like a day and a half before I decided it was time to test a different fragrance but I really like this I knew I was going to enjoy it when I first smelled it but I until I warmed it I was like this I like this more than I thought I would and it's unique to any bakery that I have so I definitely am gonna club this one because of that it's different from any bakery that I've tried before or different than any bakery that I've had in my collection so this is beautiful I actually want to try doing like in one room doing frosted ginger cookie in the next room adjacent room do crumb top I think it would be beautiful and I think this like the sugary kind of brown sugar sweetness from the crumb top I think will complement frosted ginger cookies so well so I want to try that the next time I'm in the mood for a bakery oh we have another toasted caramel sugar so I guess I got three of those <clears throat> let's see I could have sworn I got three amarettos, but I guess I didn't. Um, so I have two amarettos here. This is another one, like caramel sugar cone. I voted like crazy for this one. This is phenomenal. Oh, this is a beast. Another one that was a high strength performer. Amazing. This translated exactly how it does on cold for me to warm. So this is an almond scented fragrance sweetened with honey and spice delicious um this again reminds me of the international delight amaretto creamer which is my favorite coffee creamer and it's just beautiful you do get the almond like almond extract but it does lean on like a little bit of a cherry vibe oh it's just delicious delicious it, it does read pistachio to me like it gives me pistachio vibes oh my god this is amazing this is another one definitely going into my club Although I do have pistachio scents in my collection and this does remind me of that. I just, the way that this performed was absolutely beautiful. So that is Amaretto. Oh, we have another candy orchard here. So I guess I got two of those. And the last one that I have duplicates of um, is Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond. So this is blast off to a galaxy of endless imagination where fizzy orange and black currant are cosmically balanced with plum blossom and sugared raspberry. They could have scratched all that off of the description and just told me that this was fizzy with grape. And I totally would have believed it. You do get a slight florally undertone. But honestly, if I didn't know that, that was in the description, I would think that this is like a candied grape with fizzy soda. I have never really tried grape and wax, to be honest with you. Um, actually, I've had like PB&J fragrances, but I've never had just like a straight up grape fragrance. This is grape to me. I don't know if it's the way that the raspberry and the orange, the black currant and the fizzy, like the way that they're all playing together. And I know I'm not the only one who feels this way. But this, like, they could have just not given me a description that would have smelled him like, wow, like, that's, that's good grape soda. Which, as a kid, I loved the Fanta Fanta grape soda. Like, our local pizza shop had it in two liters, and I would always ask my dad to get it when we got pizza. So this just reminds me, you know, being a kid, I love it. Um, unique to anything I have in my collection. This is one that's going into my club because of that. Might not stay forever, but just to get, you know, a nice accumulation of bars. But 
I um I got medium performance from this honestly more of a light to medium but because of the kind of fragrance this is I wouldn't want a fragrance that comes off as grape soda to be like a powerhouse I think that would just be too sickeningly sweet potentially headache inducing so for what this fragrance is I appreciate that it is more on the gentle side it was more of like a lighter medium so I really enjoy this again <clears throat> I don't know if this is one I really would have picked up unless it was in the bundle but I really like it so this is going to be one that I said going into my club. I really try and be mindful of putting licensed bars into my club because it just adds up quickly, but I can't help it. I really like this one. Another Disney one that I picked up from the Bring Back My Bar, the only other licensed one is Twitter Painted. So this is spring is in the air and it's waiting to sweep you off your feet with a swirl of sun-kissed Meyer lemon, morning dew drops, and wild moss. Beautiful like fresh crisp outdoorsy fresh cut grass with a little bit of dampness from the dew and lemon <clears throat> I like this a lot this is very strong um like one cube in my bathroom was wafting out into the hallway it was overtaking the scent I was in my kitchen it's just really nice do I think I need to club it I don't know I'm on the fence about it I do want to warm it another time just to see if it if I personally feel like it's unique enough to club um, because it is a licensed bar and just because I do have a lot of like fresh cut grass rain you know type scents in my collection I don't know that this will quite be unique enough so I did pick up another bar to keep melting and decide if I don't club it I think this will be one that I pick up maybe a couple more bars of because it is strong a little goes a long way but excuse me I did enjoy it so that is Twitter painted Ugh. these next two this one is getting <laughs> I feel like a lot of bashing as well it's not for everybody I completely understand that but being my scent preference like what my scent preferences are I like earthy dirty you know type scents outdoorsy I I'm on the Simply Patchouli train, you guys. I don't know. I really like it. This is Dive into the Rich Earthy Scent of Patchouli. It's just, I get a strong incense vibe. I get, like, damp dirt from outside. You get, like, a little bit of forest vibe with incense and dirt. I don't know. This is just... It, and let me tell you something. This is another beast. Like this thing, two cubes in my bedroom was like a lot to the point where I had two cubes of this in my <clears throat> faded opulence warmer. And then after like six hours, I was like, okay, this is like, it, it like got stronger as time went on. So I actually took a sample of um, vanilla bean from a, ben a vendor that I had and put it in my candle crock. And it actually was really nice together. The vanilla bean sample just kind of like creamed this up and mellowed it out and it was really beautiful so I really like this this is going into my club hate me all you want spew all the hate that you want I don't know I just I don't know too I don't know when this would come back again because I feel like it's not getting much love I know I like it I know Natalie from Jersey Shore Living likes it I know that Michelle from Memories and Melts she wanted this to come back so badly so thank you Michelle because this is I really like it um I asked my fiance last night pick a scent for the bedroom and bathroom that you want to put in I was like what kind of you know what are you feeling he's like oh I want something like earthy I think I said okay so I went and picked out a couple of bars um and this is though he picked this to put in the bedroom and bathroom and he was like he went back into the bedroom like an hour or so later he's like that is so good and then I told him how like oh I think I'm the one of the only ones in my um group chat wax chat that actually like this and <laughs> I, I don't even care they tease me about it which I obviously don't take offense to I, I, I don't care about that um but I'm like the only one who likes this I I don't know I guess I like the scent of dirt I like the scent of earth I like incense so I love this um because this is such a powerhouse I knew that my one bar I have I still have half left it'll last me a bit of time I'm gonna have this one bar and then I will throw it into my club so I just 
I don't know you guys. Anybody else on the Simply Patchouli train, let me know down below. I love it. And then the last one, oh, this is so good too. For all you earthy lovers, if you haven't picked this up, you need to try it. This is red cedar and sage. So this is run free through red cedar, sage, and fresh, fresh forest greens. This is like nice, crisp green forest scent. It almost gives me, which I described on my first sniffs, like a men's aftershave type vibe. Yeah. It's like that crisp, clean vibe that you get from a men's aftershave, but then you get the greens of like a tree and forest. It's just so pretty. Strong. This is one, another one that did one cube in my bathroom and it was a powerhouse. I probably could have gotten away with half of a cube. I just love this. Oh my God. This is like sexy man aftershave. He's getting ready to go out on a date. He just shaved for you. He put on aftershave. He put on his crisp, clean outfit trying to look good for you like this is just so good oh I love it this is beautiful red cedar and sage if you're an outdoorsy lover or you want to try and get into the more earthy outdoorsy scents and you want a wild card try red cedar and sage and if you end up not liking it I will buy it off of you because I think this is so good I would have gotten more than one bar but because I said it is such a powerhouse a little bit goes a long way so I am trying to be more mindful of how many bars I bring in at a time, but this is a clubber and I, I just, oh God, this is my, after my masculine earthy loving heart. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, well there I said I was going to do a warm review and I feel like I pretty much the ones that I got here, I pretty much gave you what I experienced on warm. So I don't know, you guys. I don't know if I should still do a warm review. I'm still debating it. Um, <clears throat> I may, I may not. But if you just want my opinion on anything, reach out to me, leave a comment. I did warm all of them aside from one, which was whipped vanilla pear. I just can't. Um, but all aside from that, I've warmed all of them. I kind of have my thoughts. There are a couple more. Obviously, I picked up many of them in duplicates. There are a few that I do like. But I just feel like I have to warm again to kind of get my stance on what I think. Um, so I'm still working on that. But I just wanted to go ahead and stock up on some of these while I had the credit um, to do so. And then as the end of January rolls around, if I want to buy any more duplicates or ones of the bars that I still have to test a little bit more, I'll still have time to do that. And kind of make a list of what are the must-haves for my club versus stocking up. So... That's kind of going to be my goal over the next couple of weeks, kind of continue to warm the bring back my bars here and there without burning myself out from them and kind of just decide what are absolute necessities for the club, what is unique enough and club worthy, and what are ones that as the end of the month approaches that I just need to get a couple of bars more of and call it a day. But all in all, that was my first party closeout. I'm so happy with everything that I got. It took me <laughs> a while to decide what I was going to get because I'm very indecisive and I was trying to stay away from getting warmer. So I was like, you know what? This is just the time to stock up on bars that I know I want more of. So it was great. I loved the whole <clears throat> closing out the party. It was easy to do. Um, and I will be opening up another party. So we'll see how that one goes. But um, yeah, if you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I appreciate you spending your time with me and choosing to spend it here. I hope you did enjoy. And if you would like to subscribe and stick around, I would love to have you join. And if you're in need of a Scentsy consultant, no pressure if you already have one. Obviously stick with who you're using, but if you're newer to Scentsy or you don't shop with a consultant, I would love to help you. So I will leave my link down below. Again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe, and having a great weekend. Take care. Bye.